Now we're beginning a new unit, and I'll call this calculus and the geometry of functions. Now by the geometry of functions, I mean what do the graphs look like and what are the details of the graph? For example, how fast is a function increasing or how much is it, how much is it curved? Where does it go up? Where does it go down? Those sorts of things are what I would call the geometry of a function. So one particular distinction we can inter introduce is the idea of extrema. An extrema, wherever the, the function has extreme values, and this can include either maxima or minima. And so for example, suppose we have a nice cubic function like this. Well, this cubic function starts down at negative infinity and then wiggles a bit in the middle and then goes up to positive infinity. And so the function has no absolute maximum. In other words, there's no upper number where we can just say that number and then the function never gets higher than it. Rather, the function goes up and up forever. And similarly, it goes down and down forever. So it has no absolute minimum. But we can talk about, say, a point like this. Now, this is not an absolute minimum. There are other places, an absolute maximum. You can go other places on the function and get higher than this point. But this point is a maximum relative to things that are right around it. So this is a relative maximum. And much in the same way, this point here is a relative minimum. Not the lowest that you could go on the whole function, but if you just compare it to the points in its immediate neighborhood, it is the lowest point. Now, there are other curves. For example, if we think of a quartic function. It might wiggle like this and then go back up to infinity. This would be an example of a point that in addition to a relative maximum and a relative minimum, this point here would be an absolute minimum. In other words, that value right there is the lowest value on the entire function on the entire real number line. And so these are examples of extra. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to use calculus to locate these.